Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. Now we all love when we order hot delicious cappuccino or latte and it is served with a beautiful intricate designs in the foam, right? Let's do that with slime. Whip up some fluffy slime and with no barista skills needed, stencil our way into endless fun. This is a very easy to do latte slime art video. It will keep you busy for hours. So let's get started. Let's quickly make white fluffy slime. I'm using Elmer's glue. You can use any alternative good quality PVA glue. Add in Gillette shaving foam. Make sure it is foam because this is what will make the slime fluffy. Now add in foaming soap. A few pumps and you are good to go. Adding in clean and clear morning energy skin brightening daily facial scrub. I love the citrus fragrance. Squirt in some lotion. I am using cherry blossom body lotion from Bath and Body Works. This will make your slime soft, smooth and nourished. I am using Johnson's baby powder. If you don't have baby powder, you can substitute it with corn flour. Shake baby powder directly into the pre-slime mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Mix very well. Time to add the activator. I am using borax solution to make the borax solution. Mix one tablespoon of borax powder with one cup of hot water. Use the solution gradually. Do not pour it in. The key to good slime is adding the activator slowly and mixing very well. The science of slime. The borate ions in the slime activator, in this case the borax solution, mixes with the PVA polyvinyl acetate glue and forms this cool stretchy substance. This is called cross-linking. The glue is a polymer and is made up of long, repeating and identical strands or molecules. These molecules flow past one another keeping the glue in a liquid state until you add the borate ions to the mixture and it then starts to connect these long strands together. They begin to tangle and mix until the substance is less like the liquid you started with and thicker and rubberier like slime. Rubberier? Is that even a word? And that's how you get slime. You can check to see if the slime is made by consistency of slime. It still looks very sticky, so add in a little bit more of the borax solution and stir away. Once you get the mixture thoroughly whipped and incorporated, you can pull it out with your hands and knead. Your white fluffy slime is ready. Store it in an airtight container and you can use it anytime you want. So here is a magic ornament template up close. The coffee decorating quartet template comes with four different patterns. You can choose your favorite pattern. These coffee templates are great to create funny patterns on your latte, cappuccino, or hot chocolate. The quartet template are made of 100% food grade plastic. It is very safe to use. It is BPA free. This is the magic ornament template. There are four pieces in each box. So check out this stainless steel seasoning condiment jar. Now the top cover part has uh, different sizes of holes. Now the top can be rotated to the sealed position when not in use. Very clean and hygienic, dust proof and moisture proof to meet your different needs. Here is the brown chocolate synthetic food color powder. I got this from the new. Then get yourself a white porcelain cappuccino latte hot chocolate cup, chip resistant rolled edges, durable glaze oven, microwave and dishwasher safe. Let's check our white fluffy slime in the airtight container. Ooh, so fluffy. Up with white fluffy marshmallowy slime. So let's open the first magic ornament template box. We have four pieces of stencil and here they are. 
The first one is coffee beans. Stars. Balloons. Candle. Let's open the second box of magic ornament template. Here are the four pieces of stencils. Cup. A smiley face. Two hearts. Pine tree. Time for stenciling. Take a coffee art stencil that you like. You can either hold the coffee art stencil or you can rest the stencil on the rim of the coffee cup, which would be much easier. Sprinkle the colored food powder to create your design. Gently remove the stencil and voila! You've got three beans. Now this is the cup of coffee anyone can love. Now the coffee stencils are available in a wide range of different designs as you have already seen. And these are the ideal way to make your coffees, hot chocolates, cappuccinos stand out from the crowd. You effortlessly turn a latte, cappuccino or hot chocolate into something anyone can enjoy and will remember. You can really personalize this slime drink and create some stylish presentation. And these coffee stencils are really easy to use. You don't have to be particularly artistic to make amazing designs on your lattes, hot chocolates, or cappuccino. These range of different stencil designs are used simply by holding over the top of the slime cup and using the powder, you just sprinkle a layer on the slime. You'll be amazed by the results and just how easy they are to use. And not only that, they're actually very easy to clean. They wipe clean and they can be washed in the same way as plates or dishes. Now, I already mentioned that these stencils are made from food grade plastic and they are BPA free. But you have to be careful, they may wrap when they are subjected to hot water. So not nothing boiling. These are so easy to use, easy to clean. And they were very well priced. You get four pieces in each. And there's no excuse not to create something special. Let's talk about coffee facts. This list is dedicated to coffee lovers and curious people. Coffee was first introduced in the 15th century and to this day it maintains its status as one of the most popular beverages. The black brew is made from ripe berries which are picked from the coffee plant, processed and dried. Once dried, these beans are roasted and ground to be brewed into the coffee drink we all know and love. Over the centuries, coffee has grown into a multi-billion dollar industry and become part of our lifestyle and even cultural phenomena. Coffee beans are only called beans because of the resemblance. They're actually berries. Regularly drinking coffee may have health benefits such as reduced risk of illnesses like cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Tazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.